What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back today. I have a top 20 video for you. <laughs> I know, double the fun today. We will be reviewing the top 20 most expensive English alternate art Pokemon cards. Only don't think of it as a top 20 list. Think of it as more of a comprehensive review on what these cards are worth, both raw and graded. Now I determined this list by using the market price noted on tcgplayer.com as sort of a way to level the playing field because if I were to go buy just maybe graded card sales, that wouldn't be fair because a lot of these alternate art cards don't have, let's say, black label copies that have sold that I could research. So we'll be looking at the raw market price for each of these cards as well as reviewing a few notable graded card sales. And I'm also going to give you my opinion for each one of these cards. Folks, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it more than you know. Please consider supporting the channel by using my eBay affiliate link in the description below. Helps me out so much. So thank you in advance for doing that. All right, everybody, let's jump into this top 20 list. Starting off with the Machamp V alternate art from Astral Radiance. Now, Astral Radiance wasn't the strongest modern set we've seen, and this Machamp V is the chase card from it. As of right now, it has a market price of $116.16. Now, in its graded form, the Machamp V sells as a PSA 10 for about $273, and as a BGS 10 Pristine for about $301. The number 19 most expensive alternate art card is from Lost Origins in Aerodactyl V. Currently, this card has a market price of $120.41. And it's worth noting that a PSA 10 copy sells for about $240, while a BGS 10 copy sells for about $510. The number 18 most valuable alternate art card is the Galarian Moltres V from Chilling Rain. Uh, Side note here, I think they did this Galarian Moltres just right. A lot of these Alolan and Galarian Pokemon variants, mm, not a big fan of them, but the Legendary Birds, mm, they did them perfectly. This card right here has a current market price of $134.04, and a PSA 10 example of this card will cost you about $288. The number 17 most expensive alt art is the Sylveon VMAX, which right now has a market price of $140.55. Now a PSA 10 example has recently sold an auction for $250, but a black label has also recently sold an auction for over 10 times the amount, selling for $2,600. The number 16 most expensive alt art is a Glaceon VMAX. Right now has a market price of $142.27, and the last PSA 10 example that sold was for $215, while the last black label example that sold was for $1,530. The number 15 most expensive alt art is one I don't really cover very much in my auction recaps. It is a Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX from Unified Minds that right now has a market price of $145.63. Now, the most recent PSA 10 copy that I could find had sold an auction for $335. Now, from me watching this market, I certainly see a lot more Sword and Shield alternate art graded cards on eBay and PWCC than I do Sun and Moon alt arts. The number 14 card on our list today is an Espeon V Max from Fusion Strike. This card. Looks like it belongs in Evolving Skies, but no, they saved it for Fusion Strike. It has a market price of $154.29, and a PSA 10 copy has recently sold for $288, while the Black Label has also sold recently for 2,225 big ones. I feel like a majority of people prefer the Gengar VMAX from this set. I like this one the best. This is my favorite card from Fusion Strike. The number 13 card on today's list is the Charizard V Alt Art from Brilliant Stars that has a market value of $157.32, and the last PSA 10 copy that sold was for $345, while a black label was listed for $5,500, but had a best offer accepted price of $4,350. The number 12 most expensive alt art is another Sun and Moon card. It is the Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX card from Cosmic Eclipse. As of right now, has a market price of $100, $158.34, while the PSA 10 graded copy sells for about $490. 
This isn't my favorite alternate art card, but I can certainly appreciate the idea behind it. We're back to the evolutions with our number 11 most expensive alt art. It is the Leafeon VMAX that has a market price of $168.22. The PSA 10 copy of this card has sold an auction for $247, while a BGS 10 black label has sold for $2,009. We have arrived at the number 10 most expensive alternate art. It is the Lugia V from Silver Tempest. Right now has a market price of $180.74 and a PSA 10 copy sells for about $360. Now at the making of this video, uh, there was a black label copy in auction. I will put it up on the screen here, the results of what that sold for because as of right now, it's still in auction so I'm not exactly sure the value of a black label copy of the Lugia V. The number 9 most expensive alternate art is a Gardevoir and Sylveon GX from Unbroken Bonds. This card has a market price of $188.21, and a PSA 10 copy has recently sold for $400. And this, along with that Mega Sableye and Tyranitar, are just two cards that I rarely see come through in auction compared to the rest of these alternate arts, so I was very interested to see that this card landed in the top 10 most expensive. The number 8 most expensive alternate art is another card from Fusion Strike. It is the Gengar VMAX, or as one of my viewers has dubbed it, the Giant Anus. This card has a market price of $201.80, and a PSA 10 copy has recently sold for $380, and what the heck. Let's throw a CGC card in here. A CGC 10 pristine example has sold an auction for $660. The number seven most expensive card is from Chilling Rain. It's the Blaziken VMAX alternate art that has a market price of $208.01 and a PSA 10 copy has sold an auction for $331 while a BGS 10 copy has sold for $536. I remember back when Chilling Rain came out, a black label copy did come through a couple years ago. I'm not gonna include it in today's pricing, but it sold for an extravagant amount. The number six most expensive alternate art is a Magikarp and Whale Lord GX from Team Up set. Team Up is home to a few very valuable alt art cards. This one right here has a market value of $245.38, and the last PSA 10 copy that sold was for $848. Getting down to the final five, we have another card from Team Up set. Like I just got down telling you, a lot of very expensive cards from the set. It is a Gengar and Mimikyu GX. Right now has a market price of $254.75, and a PSA 10 copy sold just a couple weeks ago for $792, but another PSA 10 example just sold tonight as I'm filming this video for $1,475. The number four most expensive card on our list today is the Rayquaza VMAX from Evolving Skies. This card has a market price of $302 raw, and the most recent PSA 10 example sold for $456, while the most recent black label example, which sold, I believe, just a couple weeks ago, for $3,120. The third most valuable alternate art card is from Lost Origin. It is the Giratina V. That has been a very strong card ever since its release. It has a market price of $328.84, and the most recent PSA 10 example has sold for $800 even. And then we saw a BGS 10 black label copy sell not that long ago for $7,200. The number two most valuable alt art card in if I wasn't going by TCG player, I would have put this one in the number one spot. It is a Latios Latios GX card from Team Upset that has a market price of $492.36. And uh, that's not too far off because a raw copy of this card just sold on eBay for $560 and a PSA 10 copy has sold for $2,175 and then today for $2,750. Like I just said, folks, you could easily argue that this is the most valuable alt art card, uh, especially if it were to land a BGS 10, I'm sure it would blow all these other cards away. Which leads me to the number one most valuable alternate art card, according to TCG Player. It is, of course, the Umbreon VMAX from Evolving Skies that right now has a market price of $627.41 
I have a few very notable sales of this card. It has recently sold raw for $598. A PSA 10 example has recently sold for $1,125. And then we all know the story about the black labels for this card. It had once sold for $12,000, but most recently a black label copy has sold for $6,600. Folks, that's all I got for you. I really had a itch to cover some alternate art cards for some reason. Let me know what you think of this top 20 list. Please comment below. Please give the video a like and please be a subscriber if you're not already. Thanks again, folks. That's all I got. I'll catch you all in my next one.